welcome to quantitative aptitude video from careerright.com. In this video, we'll be covering up a very easy topic called problems on fractions. We'll straight away jump to questions. These kind of these five types of questions which we are discussing in this video can very frequently be asked in various examinations conducted all across the nation. May it be a management entrance exam, may it be a bank exam, or an exam called conducted by a government body. So, firstly, we have to find the value of 1 by 2 plus 2 by 5 minus 2 by 3. Now what we have to do is we have to find the LCM of 2, 5 and 3 that is 30. We will write down 30 as a denominator then divide the uh, 30 by 2 then by 5 and then by 3. We get the dividends 15, 6 and 10 multiply by 15, 6 and 10 by 1, 2 and 2 respectively we get 1 into 15, 2 into 6 and 2 into 10 that is 15 plus 12 minus 20 that upon 30. The answer would be 7 by 30. The second question. We have to compare 15 by 8 and 19 by 8. Now we have to remember this rule that if the denominators of two or more fractions are same, then we have to compare the numerators and whichever numerator is higher, higher is the value of the fraction. So in this case, 19 is greater than 15. So it's quite evident that 19 by 8 would be greater than 15 by 8. So we need to remember the rule if the denominator of the two or more fractions are same then higher the number higher is the value of the fraction. Question number 3. Compare 5 by 13, 5 by 11 and 5 by 16. Now in this case we can see that numerator of all the fractions are same. So the rule which plunges here is higher the denominator the smaller is the fraction. So in above case the numerator is same in all the cases that is 5. Now we compare the denominator that is 11 is, is the least then 13 and then 16 is the greatest so what we do here is as it said in here higher the denominator the smaller is the fraction so 5 by 11 is greater 5 by 13 is then greater than 5 by 16 now question number 4 now what we have to do here is we have to compare 5 by 7 by 3 by 5 now in this case both the fractions have different numerators and denominators so it's a bit tricky one when both the numerators and denominators are different in this case we have two methods cross multiplication method what we do here is as the fractions are given a by b and c by d and if we need to prove that a by b is greater than c by d then we have to achieve a state where we see that a into d is greater than c into b so fraction with the greatest numerator after cross multiplication is bigger we will test it here it's as it's 5 by 5 5 into 5 and 3 into 7 so 25 is greater than 21 so 5 by 7 would be said greater than 3 by 5 now we will go to LCM method in LCM method we change the numerators of the fraction after making denominators equal to LCM in above case the LCM of the denominator is 35 so the numerators become 5 into 5 that is 25 and 3 into 7 is equal to 21 so 25 by 35 and 21 by 35 in this case we can clearly see that 25 by 35 is greater than 21 by 35 so all we have to do in LCM method is change the numerators to the fraction after making denominators equal to LCM and then go on and solve like we have shown it here I guess these easy questions may not be a problem for you once again when you go on and face such questions in examinations thank you